to my brother on his tests. My brother's also a math professor. He likes to put true, false, possible. He gives true, false, possible tests. I don't do that. Because <laughs> I don't want to grade it. <laughs> Actually, he's mellowed. He's mellowed. He only gives true, false, possible to like the seniors now, I think. It kills the sophomores and the freshmen. How about this? If I did like 2 minus 2, right, 2 plus minus 2, is that equal to the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of minus 2? Well, this is the absolute value of 0. Absolute value of 0, 0. What's the other side? 4. Is 4 equal to 0? It is not. So this is forbidden. It is not true that the absolute value of a sum is the sum of the absolute values. It does not work that way. You can say this much, though. The absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. This is called the triangle inequality. Um, and I don't think you'll even need it in here. I'm just mentioning it for your um, edification. <clears throat> so, all right, you're like, well, great, absolute value, it's, it's interesting, but what's, what's, what does it mean? Can you guys tell me what absolute value means? Why do we care about absolute value? If I draw a number line, right, and I put x there, and I ask you what's the absolute value of x, what is it? Can you tell me? It's x. Well, it could be minus x, right? I mean, here's 0. If x is over here, the absolute value of x is equal to x, right? If x is over here, the absolute value of x is equal to minus x. So what is the absolute value of x geometrically? Geometrically speaking, the absolute value of x is equal to the distance of x from the origin, from 0. This is what absolute value is, the distance of the number from the origin. So if I have the number 3, it's three units from the origin, right? If I have the number minus three, it's also three units from the origin, just to the left versus to the right. Okay? So how, how do we calculate the distance between numbers? The distance from A to B is defined to be distance from A to B, it's equal to the absolute value of B minus A. So this is distance from A to B. <clears throat> so like what's the distance from minus 10 to 3? we have to calculate the absolute value of the difference of those, right? So we do absolute value of 3 minus a minus 10. What's minus? Minus minus 10 is 10, right? 10 plus 3, 13. So the distance from minus 10 to 3 is? 13, right? Should the distance from A to B be the same as the distance from B to A? Theorem. The distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to A. Now, what's the, what's the proof of this theorem? It's just this. The absolute value, um, well, distance from, from A to B is equal to the absolute value of B minus A, right? which is equal to, to minus 1 times b minus a, 
which is a minus b, which is the distance from b to a in our thinking. So don't say I didn't ever prove anything in here for you. It's easy to check that the distance from a to b is equal to the distance from b to a. Now what this means, pragmatically speaking, is it doesn't really matter which one you subtract from the other. So if you like forget which one's b and which one's a, it doesn't matter. If you want to calculate the distance between two numbers, just take their difference and take the absolute value. That's the distance. All right? So um, one last example here. If you wanted to solve the absolute value of x is less than 4, how would you do that? What is that? Like geometrically, what we're saying is that the distance from x, distance from the origin to x is at most what? At most 4, right? So you can picture this, right? Here's the origin. Here's 4. Here's minus 4, right? X has got to be somewhere in there, right? Because if you're at most 4 units from the origin, you can go at most 4 units to the right or 4 units to the left. So the solution to this is minus 4 to 4. Not included, right? So this is what we're, we're going to look at next class is how to solve inequalities involving absolute value. It's going to be all, if you really want to understand it, we can think about it in terms of distances. And it shouldn't be at all mystical. But anyway, I'll stop there. Thanks, guys.